we're a day removed from the Carolina Panthers' decision to take away play calling duties from Thomas Brown. And this happened just three games after they gave it to him. And it still doesn't make sense, at least not in the way it's been presented. All the headlines that you will read say some version of this Frank Reich takes play calling back. Frank Reich in a desperate move, now calling Panthers plays. Frank Reich is panicking, etc. But for all the negative things you could say about Frank as a coach, and some have outlined those very clearly, he could be a dinosaur in today's NFL. The offense could be outdated. He probably might be out of a job by the end of this year, and rightfully so. A lot of things you could say negatively. A guy who's prone to panic at his age, with his experience, unlikely. Thomas Brown's demotion only makes sense one way. If David Tepper played a role in it. Because given how hands-on we know him to be, this does not happen without David Tepper's approval. It doesn't make sense otherwise. But let's lay out the timeline here. Giving Thomas Brown the play calling duties was always part of the plan. When Frank Reich introduced Thomas Brown, this was discussed. Eventually, Thomas Brown's going to be calling plays. Panthers players said that this was talked about during training camp. At some point this year, that was likely to happen. And the bye week was a perfect time for it. It happened three weeks ago. And guess what? His first game as a play caller, he won the game. He got it done. And he was... Such a central role in that win. Frank Wright got emotional after the game and gave Thomas Brown the game ball. This is how it sounded. This one means a lot to me. <laughs> and this, this one means, hey, they all mean a lot. This one means a lot to me. Woo! Woo! Yeah. We knew he was going to be, be a beast when he got here. And when the game was on the line, he called the perfect series, right? Thomas Brown. Yeah! Yeah! We knew the guy would be a beast. Oh, this one means a lot to me. I'm super emotional. That was 18 days ago. 18 days ago. And they're taking the play calling duties away from him now. It just doesn't make sense. It's hard to believe. Unless this is a David he Tepper. Concerts. This is a David Tepper issue. He has a history of meddling with football decisions. It's been five years. We've got a sample size of this now. There were reports during Ron Rivera's final year that during the offseason, David Tepper wanted Ron Rivera to change his defensive scheme. It's been denied by people close to Tepper, but that was something that was reported by reputable sources. We know that this part isn't disputable. We know that... He meets with Frank Reich every single week. There are these Tuesday meetings between Reich and David Tepper. That's something we know happens. It's a bit unusual. There was the story that surfaced, not this, yeah, around this past Sunday after the Bears game from Diana Rossini of The Athletic that David Tepper was unhappy with the current state of the offense and the prog progress of the offense, and the way that they're supporting Bryce Young. And you want me to believe now that Frank Reich, unilaterally, less than three weeks after that clip of celebrating Thomas Brown, which was part of the plan all along, just happened to renege on that? Woo! Hard for me to believe. This has David Tepper in Pulse written all over it. The same dude that fired the Charlotte FC coach after making the playoffs for the first time in franchise history this past year. Charlotte FC did that. Oh, well, you're out of a job. He just can't have nice things. So here's what happened. David Tepper either told Frank Reich to make this change or said that Frank Reich's job was in jeopardy unless the offense looks better very quickly. Like, now... And so Frank Reich said, I'm not going to have somebody else have control of the steering wheel. If my job is on the line, I need to do this now. 
That's what I think happened. And Thomas Brown doesn't deserve this. Frank Reich, to his credit, tried to express that yesterday, that this should have no effect on Thomas Brown's career. Should have zero impact on Thomas's uh, career arc. It's a three. <laughs> First of all, anybody who knows Thomas knows he's brilliant. OK, and that he's great leader, alpha male, um, fast on his feet. Um, and so this is a three game sample size. I mean, on a team, on a team and on an offense that's been struggling. You know, what, what was he supposed You know, I mean, was it supposed to be magic? Eh, what was it supposed to do? <laughs> magic. Then why did you give it to him in the first place? If you're going to take it away after three games and the odds were stacked against him that he'd only get three games and have it pulled back, why give it to him in the first place? Unless that wasn't the plan all along and somebody above Frank Reich directed him to do something about this. And it fits the MO of one David Tepper, Mr. Concerts himself. You know, with concerts.